they told me us to keep our eyes shut. Well, I cracked my eyes open and was so bright that it was just like looking into the arc welder without anything on. The radiation that I was exposed, I was serving with the U.S. Marine Corps. I served 1946 and 47. I was classed as a World War II veteran. We spent about eight hours after the bomb in that area and I taken them close home, they didn't say that those clothes should be destroyed. Well, yes, I thought that they should have told him what it could cost one day, but they didn't say nothing about it. I brought those clothes home with the dust and everything, and wife, she fought cancer two times already. They say that genes. I think it was nothing but deadly radiation. Oh yes, I think the radiation had a big effect. All the cancers that have been in the family, I think it's from that. Leroy had breast cancer, I had breast cancer. One of my daughters had breast cancer twice, Lori, and Margie tested positive for it. And now my son is taking tests for cancer. He is qualified for health care benefits based on the fact that he was exposed to radi radiation through um, atomic testing. So we're going to apply for disability benefits and we're also going to apply for pension. They did send me a letter and I was entitled to benefit, but I had never drawn any of it. I feel like I didn't need it. We thought maybe we should, but like I said, we had our mind on those days more about our family and about the death that we were in. He would not have to give up any of his health care benefits. They would work in conjunction with the VA health care benefits. And the disability benefits are totally separate from the health care benefits, so he could receive all of them at the same time. Oh yes, it would help, because at our age, we don't have too much in government. He served his country and we're gonna apply for the benefits and I'll do everything I can to get him those benefits. I serve my country and I serve for freedom. I'm very proud of it, always was.